Well, good evening. Good evening to all. Welcome to the Revitalize the Total Woman podcast with your host, Lakeisha McKnight. I'm glad to be here. Your senior coach uh, during this particular show here. Welcome. This show airs live every Tuesday and Wednesday around 8 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We are live in the Women of Elevation group on Facebook, but we're also live on Spreaker, iHeartRadio, several other platforms, as well as womenofelevation.com website. And so welcome to the show, everybody. It's a media outlet for the nonprofit organization entitled Women of Elevation Career Services International. And our whole mission is to empower women like yourselves with the tools to be able to create, relate, and elevate so you can walk in your God-given purpose and truly live your dream lifestyles. So welcome to the show, everyone. Those listening in live and catching the replay, welcome, welcome, welcome. So I'm just going to share a bit of information tonight uh, and also give you a heads up as to what is to come. So Many of you know that we, during the month of May, we're helping you by giving you some tips, some keys to having healthy personal relationships, healthy personal relationships. So if you're engaged, if you're dating, uh, if you are just newly married, or maybe you've been married for some time, these particular strategies will be helpful for you. And so we've been sharing strategies, and I know tonight we're talking about the sixth key to having a healthy, healthy personal relationship. And we're going to talk about the big P word. So for those of you who are watching by way of the group, you see what that P word is. And that is patience. Patience. That's right. Patience, everybody. So let me just share with you a little bit about it. All right. So no one belongs to you. No one belongs to you. So you can't control anyone either. So despite how hard you try to persuade or manipulate another to respond and react, you know, in a way you want, they won't and they don't. Everyone thinks, feels, and acts in their own way, on their own time. See, if you try to rush someone's process or push them to do something they don't want to do, they will feel pressured. Now, when a person feels pressured, they feel unsafe, they feel unloved, they feel unable to to give love. They will no longer be themselves, really. And when someone is not themselves, they are not honest. So without honesty, you know, love dies as well as, you know, as the relationship. So the most important thing you can do for the person you love is to give them space. You know, when a person has space, they feel free, you know, free free to feel, free to think, free to do what they love and to be who they are in their own way on their own time, and they will want to share themselves with you. So remember this. Remember, love is not in a rush. It has all the time in the world. So I encourage you to be patient. As the the preview image says, for those of you who are in the group, and for those who are on the podcast platforms, here's what the image shows. It has the word patience. It has the pronunciation of the word, and it is a noun. And the image says it's a virtue. The ability to stay without complaining at a place you rather would like to leave for a long period of time. So in other words, you know, just having, just having patience, meaning, meaning taking your time, giving time. Okay. So be patient, no matter what it may be. It, it's not even just based folk, just only on relationships, but with anything in life, we really should have patience. So Understand patience truly is a virtue and it will definitely help you to have, you know, a healthy, thriving relationship. And I know it's helped me personally, you know, as being married for over 14 years now, definitely having to be patient with my husband. And I know my husband being patient with me. So you got to have patience. And for those of you parents out there, you got to be patient with your kids as well. So again, day by day, we're taught by the most high, by God, you know, to be able to build and really develop this this virtue called patience. So I appreciate each and every one of you. And please take note and remember, yes, we are gearing up and preparing for the panel event. It's going to be an amazing live stream where we have people on the platform giving and sharing their experience and relationships. And so we're going to be really coming in contact and really connecting with people 
professionals, and they don't have to be people who uh, are like counselors and relationship therapists, although that may be helpful. You know, we are definitely open for those of you who've had tons of experience and even for those who may be newly married to share your experience. And so definitely stay tuned. We're go- we'll be in contact with those of you specifically who are also in the Women of Elevation group. We're going to be reaching out to you and and also just reconnecting and seeing how things are going for you during this time of quarantine. So it's been a while since we've connected. And so we're going to try to definitely reconnect with each and every one of you. See, it's our job, not only from our end, but from your end as well, to remain plugged in. All right. And so again, thank you so much for those who catch the replay. Thank you so much for tuning into the stream on tonight. And so we'll be back next week with some more great content to help you grow as women and to really have successful, healthy relationships within which in return will also help you to have a thriving career. So thank you so much. Be sure to remember to check out the website, which is www.womenofelevation.com. For more current updates, be blessed and enjoy the rest of your week.